Hi guys, how are you doing? It's day 11 of My Little Flossmas and you're very, very welcome to me here. And it is the 11th of December, nearly half past eight here in the evening in the UK. And I thought it was about time I got on with my, my video for tonight. I have been stitching since I got home at about four o'clock. So I've been, I've been pootling around doing bits and bobs. Um, I have only got two little bits of stitching to show you today. So I've pulled two of my full coverage projects, which I haven't shown for a while, and a finish to show you as well. An, an old, a really, really old finish, which I know I've only shown just the once, right, right back at the beginning, back in July, I think. So just to fill up our time, a um, little bit of housekeeping. Um, Karen, I got your email. Thank you very much. I'll pop your box in the post to you on my way into work tomorrow. And the other lady, Debbie, I know you've emailed me, but I think my autocorrect might have got my email wrong. I, I typed it wrong once. I haven't been back and checked, I'll be honest, um, on the description box of my of my video. Um, but sometimes my I've typed it wrong in the past. And sometimes it auto corrects without me noticing, you know, because it, it says, oh, what you typed it like this before. Is this how you want to type it this time kind of thing? And it, it does it without me noticing. Um, I'll put my very, very definitely correct email in the, on the description box of this video. If that doesn't match where you've been emailing, ping me on Instagram, please. And I'll get your box to you. We'll, we'll sort it out and you'll get your box. But sorry about that. Um, I've double checked through them and it's it's not there right so i think it's my mistake and i've given you the wrong email address it happened before two of the people probably watching this remember that it happened before and i i sent them i i sent them on a wild goose chase going oh no email me it's fine and of course they have put totally it, it was just like two letters switched about or something it was really silly so onto some stitching my tiny bits of stitching for today i've done number 11 here we go again you can see how how small the boxes are because the numbers are now two numbers are taking up most of the box so i'm having to be a bit more creative i've done two presents with a little bunny sitting on top um one's got a little bow and the other one i've sort of back stitched a zigzaggy sort of herring bony type pattern onto to give it a bit of texture and whatnot so there's number 11 looking quite good um i've only got one one box left with the double, double border already stitched so i'm gonna have to put some extra borders on um i'm watching a good what what, what i consider sorry I keep knocking my my cutting board has got my tripod on it on the bed so anything um i'm watching a good series at the moment called called world world's greatest ships world's greatest ships I've just got it on pause on, on my telly, um, which just has like, a, I think they're about 40 minutes long. Um, there's the Endeavour, there's the um, Mayflower, HMS Victory, um, HMS Belfast, HMS Great Britain, that sort of thing. It just gives you a little overview of the of the life of the ship and what happened to it and where it is now and what have you. It's there i find it incredibly interesting because um i was in the merchant navy before i had my children i came straight out of school went to college and did worked at sea for nearly nine years so i worked for shell on great big oil tankers and gas carriers and i've been to some pretty odd places and lots of airports and oil terminals is what i People go, oh, you must have had, you must have travelled and seen the world. And I'm like, yeah, I have. Lots of airports and oil terminals because I would get on a flight, fly to the place, basically get taken in a taxi to a hotel, sleep, sleep off the flight, join the ship, and then I'd be on the ship for four, five, sometimes six months, depending. Um, and sometimes you got ashore and sometimes you didn't, so it just depends. So uh, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. I was a navigator, so watch keeping up on the bridge basically passage planning navigating that was right up my street and I absolutely loved it and then I had babies which is, was incompatible so then I became a mum and now I stitch and if I'd only I'd cross stitch then I could have got so much done I did take a big patchwork quilt with me one year I used to take my Fimo with me 
and make little my mum was making handmade cards before handmade cards were a thing and people used to go Ooh, what's that you know handmade cards now everybody just gets them as a matter of course because they're lovely but you know back in the 90s not many not many people went for handmade cards but I used to make little little flat femo things to put on cards for my mum which which we always we, we, we liked um so yeah so I'm watching that so because it's people talking the whole time I don't really have to look up unless something sounds like what it's like listening to floss tube unless something sounds interesting I don't look up so I can just keep on stitching so uh let's show you a bit more my other bit of stitching this is what I've worked on since last night since I finished my floss tube while the video was sorting and then until I went to sleep and then today this is what I've been working on my patchwork deer are you ready here it is Ta -da! so here we go Ooh, let's get my needle minder out of the way so yesterday I'd got to about here I did indeed go right across come back down the other side it met exactly where it was meant to I did have a small mistake here where I'd only gone over one thread because there was a big slub so it looked like the stitch was big and it looked like I'd gone over two threads but I'd only gone over one so by the time I got to here my stitches were clearly skinny um, so I frogged that out and fixed it because I wanted it to be right because it's only a little pattern um, and I've done yellow snow which I did deliberately I, I pulled from my floss bag of doom see there are full there's full skeins in my floss bag of doom as well as just an almighty mess I pulled this rather nice buttery gold it is an anchor and it is number 874 I rather like that so I've done the swirls in this um, one lady uh, Dawn said why don't you use black and 12 for them um, I'd already started the gold but I do have my black of 12 here it is it's got its own little own little sparkly life I do like this stuff I don't like the first couple of stitches because it's very loopy until it's you know until the thread sort of stretches a little bit and then it's brilliant first couple of stitches are always very loopy so I've done his feet with that and the little birdies the bit of the birdies I suppose it's its face or I think it's its beak and then I'm going to do the letters with it so it's got a very very subtle I was just going to use the week's um, coal which I'm using for my Santa who hasn't grown any more since last time for his feet but seeing as I had it I've only got three or four or twelves so I thought right I'm going to use it um, so that's that's that and while I'm thinking about it so my plan is to get this guy finished I'm going to try and get him finished soon as I can hopefully by tomorrow I might I might stitch on him tonight I might put a couple of strands in Kingdom of Books tonight I'll see how I feel when I've when I've done my video but I'm really really happy with my patchwork dear I love the shape of this little guy I love his little neck and his little head look how cute he is I've given him a white eye he was meant to have yellow snow eye I've given him a white eye but I think I'm just going to put a little tiny like a little tiny stitch of black as well just so just to highlight it now if you can see on the pattern there's snowflakes little groups of five white stitches they're all over little snowflakes and I thought instead of just stitching them with white stitches apologize I'm pretty painty today I was doing a lot of painting at work today uh, single single things mail orders um, I thought I might put some beads in so I found one of the I've got I've got beads everywhere everywhere I look there's packs of beads and these these guys beads and sequins they're all just your standard uh, standard mill hills they're just decanted these there's some in here actually that's really lovely they're uh frosted like a periwinkle blue but they're frosted but i thought these ones here um they're clear beads but with like a white sleeve on the inside so they're really pretty so i thought you know i might give it a bit of texture i'm not going to put glass on it when i frame it so 
he's got to go somewhere like right there when he's done soon I hope and then I'll have a few hangers up that I can chop and change things this is going to be my I've kind of settled here I'm comfy here I get a bit of peace sometimes and uh, I think this is this is my place so I'm going to obviously when the Christmas bits when we finish with Fosmus I'll probably just have the I use those command the sticky things you know where you put the double it's like two bits of velcro that's really sticky one goes on the frame one goes on the wall and then you can you can I'd be able to just change things out so I think I'll put them across here so that I can change my pieces out as and when I want to get my patchwork deer finished um there is a downloadable sal um that I stumbled across somebody else had started it uh, I think I saw it on Instagram uh, the funny feeling it's Brenda Gervais I had to go and find her it's it's through her Facebook page if it isn't Brenda Gervais's Facebook page I will put it along here but it's super super cute it's one of those gorgeous little reindeers um, and I think it's sort of uh, peppermint like candy cane themed and there's a Christmas tree which for some reason I want to do like a lime green colour I don't know if it, I don't know if it, I'm thinking about it now I downloaded parts one and two and I think part three got released today I think it's in five parts but it's free and you just download them from her Facebook page I am I've got printing ink on that finger. I'm so sorry. Um, tomorrow, my hands will be pristine. I'm at the golf club tomorrow and I will be washing my hands approximately 400 times in the eight hours I will be there. My hands will be like little, they'll be like they've had ready break. They'll be glowing because every time I touch anything, I wash my hands in that place. Honestly, my, my hands. So there won't be any paint on my hands by the end of tomorrow. They will have been well and truly washed off. Um, so that's my stitching content. Yeah, I'm working Saturday and Sunday. So I popped up today um, back to Asda and got a few Christmas presents. Shh, don't tell my girls because they saw some things yesterday that they liked. And if they, if they see, because we so rarely go out anymore, they don't see anything so it's really hard to just buy things because I buy things that I like it's like the food in the house we only eat the food that I like so there's certain things that we never have because I don't like them it's not very much I'm not very I'm not very picky but some things I just don't buy because I just don't like them so my kids will never eat them and <laughs> they'll never know um, there's only a couple of things that I really, truly just will just don't buy. My jock is barking. Just jock. That's funny. He doesn't normally bark without the big one barking. Someone will, someone will sort them. It's just I'm, I'm conscious that I want to go and I want to go and sort him out, but sort sort him out. I'll go and let him out, or you know whatever he needs. But I'm up here doing this, so someone else can fix it. Um. Yeah, so I got a couple of bits and then I had three quarters of an hour. So I went along the big main road um, where I was when that double rainbow in my one of my floss tube, I, I pulled into a parking like uh, there's like uh, lay bys where you can park up if you've got a child that needs the loo or you know, something I don't know. Uh, truckers sometimes park in them and have a nap. I stopped and I, I locked my doors and I put the radio on and I, I stitched on my my Christmas deer and the white which I was struggling with sitting in the sitting in the car was just fine I like stitching in the car because my 11 by 11 Q snap wedges between the steering wheel and and like my breastbone so I'm really really close to it and I can really motor on like that I stitch much lower in the in the my bedroom because I'm stitching much nearer my lap um, yeah so I got a good three quarters of an hour stitching then got home and just carried on so that's all the stitching I've done but I think I've made quite good progress on the patchwork deer um, I didn't do any of my kingdom of books last night so I might do a little bit of that tonight but I thought I've not finished my last story that Sal that I think that I think is Brenda Gervais I'm thinking I'm going to start. See, I'm, I know what I need to say, but I go off on so many tangents. The other piece of fabric, the other piece of seraphim 
fabric that I bought that I'm doing my patchwork deer on the other piece is quite plain it's almost just like a, a like a I think it's like a pinky creamy colour I think I might find that I mean the house has absorbed it by now don't know where it is but I think I'll dig that out and maybe do that freebie it's it's small it's it's smaller it's smaller than this so I might start that on on that piece that extra piece that I bought um I'm really liking the 40 count that over two you know the one strand over two threads on 40 count I'm really liking it it just gives really fine little stitches okay so because that's all my stitching content I thought I'd show you my lovely this is about my first finish now I dyed this fabric in late May possibly early June because we dyed it at the same time that I dyed the silk that we made Maddie's prom dress from <laughs> that's how I know what it was and I hoyed in a piece of 25 count Laguna that I bought from Hobbycraft so I got base and I just scrunched it I tipped it into like a metal disposable metal like a fast food container sort of thing you buy them I scrunched it all up tipped the dye on left it hopped it out and washed it and this is what I got left with so it's a little bit motley considering I just did it on the kitchen floor and this is uh, now Lin Lindy Stitches stitched this and it was watching her that I saw it and I thought oh I love that I don't usually like words I don't often stitch things with lots of words on but this is um, Paulette Stewart Pauline she is Plum Street Samplers lady but she has her own blog and it's a freebie from her blog I just googled it clicked the link found it downloaded it and stitched it I love it and it's done in a bright purple anchor that I just had it says here lies my sleeping body as lifeless as can be if thou shouldst bring me coffee I would spring to life with glee and 2019 stitch my initials in 2019 this was going to get framed and put there because I sleep here so <laughs> that's where that was going to go but I've not got around to even putting it on a board yet but I think I might try and find a fancy frame for it and maybe try and get it in I think I need to have a mad finishing moment where I actually frame some things I think I want the mo things mostly framed at the moment um, Maddie's little nutcracker is going to be an ornament so obviously I'll do that with a, a, a backing fabric on it and with a loop but other than that I think everything is, is to be framed really apart from the mystery pillows which we'll work out so there's that so I I saw it saw it on Lin from Lindy Stitches Stephanie and googled oh, I'm pretty sure it's Paulette Stewart she designed the Plum Streets all of those wonderful the tired trio the fox few the rack stack the cow pile they're all hers all those wonderful patterns are all her designs and of course as soon as I knew it was her that had done it I was like well obviously that's why I like it but it's so simple and I really enjoyed it and that's that is 25 counts so that was two strands over two on 25 count and it it was basically apart from Wilhelmina also Plum Street Samplers that this was the second thing I finished when I came back to cross stitch I did start quite a few things in between but that's the second thing I finished not fully and what I've collected over here to show you is two of my full coverage pieces which I've not shown you yet um, but while I was while I was ferreting I found a picture you know my 14 count hay the key this is what it's going to look like finished so there we go so there's that brick I've been working on and the moth the beautiful moth that I stitched all of is just there so there's quite a few moths there's one two three there's four moths in total 
and then there's the ivy leaves and the keys brown i keep thinking the keys black because i've done i've color completed all the all the 310 so there's that was from the last bit of bingo but this will be used for bingo again to get a thousand stitches here and there now my first heaven, heaven and earth design and you can see the state of this piece of paper i bought the paper pattern i bought it from arts and sign which is an online store which is such a shame they're online only because they are literally 30 miles from me i'm pointing towards dumfries and galloway they are just over the border in scotland but they are they are only online they are brilliant and they've got lots of unusual patterns old patterns but i bought the paper pattern for this this is treasure hunt bookshelf it's amy stewart it's a hade and it's just the standard it's just the standard one it's not the expansion it's not the max color it's just the straight standard treasure hunt bookshelf I've since bought it on PDF so that I could pattern keeper it and then I started it and then I restarted it this year because I was doing it it's 18 count Ada which I thought I had gridded maybe I didn't grid it it would appear I haven't gridded it I will <laughs> I will going forwards um, I restarted it I was doing it two strands over two and for some reason because I like two strands over two it was like pulling I mean I'm doing the kingdom of books two over two and that's fine this was like pulling teeth out trying to get my needle through with the two strands so I basically rolled because there's a meter and meter 20 of, of Ada here and it's that long this is a nice oak um, scrolly frame that Robin made for me it's really quite lovely it's very sturdy it's going nowhere um, so I restarted this this year for the Tour de France challenge because I couldn't get I was I was getting so frustrated and there's 177,000 stitches or something ridiculous in this piece and I want to be able to finish it someday so this is my first Hade and it was a restart my original one I'd done about this much I hadn't done very much it's it's actually rolled in it's rolled in down here so if I ever because there there's my original markings for the pattern it is oh no this has been by the radiator that's what's happened to it so the heat pen does work i obviously have a heat pen because i don't know if you can see but look the writings what that was bright turquoise is now kind of beige oh that's why my gridding's gone it's been over there it's it's been by the radiator okay maybe I shouldn't have stored it by the radiator I mean it, I'd, have, I'd have only gridded a bit you know sort of as I go on a big piece like this if I haven't got pre-gridded fabric I just draw the lines you know as I need them there's no need to grid the whole just as well really I mean I have gridded all of kingdom of books but that won't be being done by the radiator I'm going to do that faster than I do this um so this will get a lot of love next year because there's book challenges the heaven and earth uh, heaven and earth not heaven and earth the full coverage fanatics next year are doing book challenges they're doing national parks this year which i didn't jump on to because i didn't really understand it i didn't really ever sit and read the challenge clearly so i just kind of did my own thing this year i did the 20 and 20 and I've done the bingos and the Wheel of Fortunes and things like that and the random stitchy weekends and things that they have. I've done most, I've done, done quite a lot of those. But next year, every month they're going to give books and the number of stitches is the number of pages. And I'm only going to, on those challenges, I'm only going to work on my book themed. I've got two bookshelves on the go, Treasure Hunt and Bountiful bookshelf. And I've now got Kingdom of Books. So I've got three full coverage whips to choose from and if i'm thinking i might every month i might put say the book is pride and prejudice and there's i don't know i'm not going to scramble up to get my copy of pride and prejudice which is just up there i can see it um 
actually it's my my dad's book i store i hold a lot of my dad's books he doesn't want to get rid of them this is what happens he doesn't want to get rid of them and he knows i won't throw them away so he's i am custodian to a lot of his books because he doesn't want to put them in his loft he doesn't want to put them in his garage he doesn't have space for them on his shelves so he gave them to me to be the custodian of so i have a lot of his books which just adds to my hoard so Pride and Prejudice is up there. Say, for instance, it has 478 pages. It'll be put 478 pages in so that into a full coverage project. I might put that number into each of my bookshelf projects each month. I think there's going to be three or four books each month. So I might try and do all the books, all the pieces each month just to keep the stitches ticking over. Because I love stitching on them once I'm going. Because they're all in Pattern Keeper, it's a piece of piss. You just do it. And so there's that one. And the last thing I'm going to show you, because time's ticking on, is one that I saw on Etsy and I couldn't unsee. Un now, I love Mandy Manzano. If you've watched any of Stitcherista, I found her through Diamond Painting and she was doing Mandy Manzano pieces. She does a lot of unboxing and Diamond Art Club do her artwork i have done a diamond art club mandy manzano of um wonderland alice in wonderland which is fantastic i have shown it in one of my floss tubes but it's it's huge it's like a hade and i absolutely love doing it but when you've done a diamond painting you think yeah i would like to do that but i would like to stitch one and it took a lot of finding a mandy manzano that was legal and cross stitch and i found ariel there she is i had to just screenshot it i had to find no way there's no there's no proper there's no full picture on the pdf so i i just took a screenshot from from etsy this is an etsy seller creatively stitching she's, she's canadian and she states very clearly in her blurb and the pattern was not cheap it was comparable with a big haid I think it was 18 or 19 pounds so it wasn't a, a five pound Russian weird pattern a lot of Russian patterns are really good but a lot of them aren't she says in the thing that she has permission and she credits the artist and she pays the artist so I'm happy to stitch it and to show it and I had I had a paper I printed it out and was using a paper pattern but now that pattern keeper takes your pdfs I'm slowly entering it into into Pattern Keeper and that's where I am with it. So the background is amazing. I can't wait to get to the background under here, which is much more turquoisey. So this is on 16 count. So I have 14, 16, 18 and 20 count full coverage pieces and I love them all. But this is a 16, so it's two strands over two. All the black is a 12. I decided to do that to just put blacky twirl in it to give it a little bit of sparkle and there's two more colors which they didn't have the dmc so i bought uh the 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 accru is also so that's in her skin the accru is also uh an etoile because they didn't have the ordinary color in stock so there she is she's absolutely beautiful she's going to be big she's going to be tall as you can see the numbers woo, come right across to here i think she's i think it's 300 320 340 yeah she's 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 big she's a big big girl but she will be amazing when she's done i'm stuck in skin confetti here but now that i'm entering my stitches onto pattern keeper it's going to go a lot faster, but obviously I have to I have to tick off the stitches I've already done on Pattern Keeper, which takes a while. So I, I went at it great guns and then I got a bit bored doing it and wanted to be stitching. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is my other frame that Robin made me. But the actual rods are from my mum's embroidery frame, which I've pinched, but the sides are the oak that Robin made me 
so it's a bit of a, a hybrid yeah these 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 are very very snug this I can get absolutely drum tight because these are very tight fitting so I can do them up so tightly which is good because I like a nice drum Robin's made me a little um they're like little skis little like frame triangular frame that I, that I can put a bolt through um to join onto the side holes so that I can put it sort of there on my lap and they sit they sit like skis either side of me on the bed he sort of just made me what I asked him to make and so I can stitch two-handed without having to hold a big frame absolutely amazing very handy having a woodworker but so that's that's what I've brought to show you today because I didn't have much um stitchy content I've still got a few more pieces I've got whips coming out of my ears um if I end up showing you everything before the end of the year I might not do an end of year whip parade or I might do a very quick end of year whip parade just so I have a record of where I was on everything at the end of the year so at the end of next year I'll have a reference for me but if I make if I do it then I'll, I'll show it so I have got of the I have two three three other full coverage projects I've got the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, which is the first thing I started. I've got the Shipping Trees, that's another full coverage, but I'm finishing that next year, I've decided. And, oh, I've got a band sampler. Where is that? I'll dig out my band sampler, which is all DMC variations. I must get on with that. Right, enough blethering for today. I am going to get this video sorted out and then I am going to maybe do the words on Patchwork Deer, maybe put in four or five strands on my Kingdom of Books. That's what I'm going to do and I will see you tomorrow. It'll be after work, um, so I should have super clean hands and I'm just serving coffee we've got a chef in tomorrow so I'm not making anything I am just to and froing I should do lots of steps today I have done 5289 steps I've only filled my as I as the day goes on as I do my steps my time fills up with turquoise and then if I do 10,000 it's full and then it starts filling up with purple I think this year I've gone on to the purple about a dozen times but when I'm running around at the golf club I get my steps in. Here comes Robin hopefully to offer me a cup of coffee. Cup. Yeah. He's after my biscuits. Here. Oh, they give me the I've, I've had enough of oh, them. Okay. You, why are you whispering? They can hear you. I oh, they can. <laughs> He's all excited. Go on, off you go. Make me coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Specular biscuits. Christmas biscuits. I buy them in Lidl, which is our German supermarket, but I used to buy them in Schiphol Airport coming through in lovely little tins back in the day when I used to travel all the time. I'd, if I was coming through Schiphol, I'd always be excited because I could get a tin of Speculars on the way back. They're those gorgeous Dutch um, Christmas cookies um, full of cinnamon and ginger and deliciousness. I try not to buy too many packets of them because I tend to eat the whole packet. But now I've given them to Robin and I won't see them again, which is great because I've had about six and that's enough for me, to be honest. shouldn't really eat that many more anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll finish this before he comes back with my coffee. He'll get... He, oh, he's he's not always weird he's been he's been chainsawing today he went up 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 into the hills to a guy who's got the same back injury as robin has but is scared of the chainsaw so robin went around with his chainsaw and processed his it was a facebook market uh, facebook local page anyone want that anyone want to come and sort this this tree into firewood for me and it was a kind of do it in kind so robin's got several I mean about a dozen, the tree's about that diameter uh, circumference and he's got chunks so 
he's very pleased with that i think it's uh fur some sort of um i think it might be douglas fur he's got anyway he's pleased with it but that's going to have to go in the shed for a couple of years now to uh, to season so it's never ending there's a lot of timber in and around i have two greenhouses pretty much full of timber in various stages of drying anyway enough for today another long video and i'll chat to you tomorrow what am i what am i going to do when christmas has been and gone and i don't have anybody to talk to every day i think i'm going to have to do at least a weekly floss tube because i really i'm i'm really enjoying this it's not a stress it's not a struggle it's just like oh that's enough stitching i better do my video and i'm really enjoying it and it turns out i can babble perfectly fine for 35 40 minutes a day about nothing and that's fine and show you some of my little bits of goodies and that's it um we haven't picked we haven't picked for the box for tomorrow so keep commenting <laughs> honestly if you comment if you comment on the videos you get dipped in where we are five boxes into this now so we know how this works we've got used to it i'm just going to grab from the noisy box i'll grab one of those oh that's a nice one do i say that every time i do we've got a red guy and let's get the top needle minder off the list right i've got them very quickly before he comes back with the coffee cup so the needle minder is a little boy under the tree oh terrible shiny shine sorry there He's opening, a, he's opening a box and it's kind of glowing. He's in his pyjamas. Oh, that's lovely. That's an old stamp. The counting pins are kind of an apricot coloured iced biscuit. That light is doing my box in tonight. Let's get rid of that. Right, a kind of a, that's blowing right out. There it is. An apricot coloured counting pin with a sparkly star on it. A nice biscuit and this is some sort of cream pie you can see it's got the fluty base and i've put the i've put the pin in up its base so it goes in you can see the whole rather than on its side and it's got a, a swirl of cream and a pink star on top here comes my coffee oh the stairs are hard Oh, I could, could hear you all the way up the stairs. You don't have to do a silly voice. You're Scottish anyway, so they like that. Oh, so it's silly. My voice is silly, is it? I think you're doing a silly voice. Go. No! Oh, well, well, come and sit with me if you're going to... What a chance in hell. There you go, then. Off you go. <laughs> He's from Fife. So even though he's lived down in England for 11 years with me, it's still very Scottish. He hadn't really left Scotland before he came to live with me, so he's very Scottish. We tease him a lot because we all sound quite posh. My kids who are local as talk like I do and they get teased for being posh. Anyway, this little guy is red, two shades of red. He's kind of a, he's got furry alpaca on the bottom and a slightly sparkly darker red on the top half. Green sequin, white hood. So comment on today's video and I'll draw for tomorrow. If you commented yesterday, you know how it works. I'll just write all my comments down and we random number from that many. Right guys, this time I'm going. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me blather on and yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye for now.